Good morning, Southern Latitudes people, family and friends. I have felt my internal clock going. No, not for babies. <laughs> but for planting, I get one a couple times, three times, four times a year. And it tells me, oh, you got to be planting something. And I was like, no, in my head, no, spring's not for a while. And then I thought, yes, I really thought hard on it. And I was like, no, actually, I do have stuff I can plant. Because <clears throat> my brassica garden is not full. And these things can germinate through a Florida winter. Because we just went through three, four days of beautiful upper 70 degree weather. Now today it's going to be cold again, but I do have some germination on the other plots. And then I thought I need to do the May Queen because the May Queen lettuce absolutely loves to germinate in cold. <clears throat> Pardon me. The May Queen lettuce absolutely loves to germinate in cold weather. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm also, I grabbed a little purple sprouting broccoli because I did not have very much success with that this fall. So what I'm doing is I'm taking, um, it's not really seed starter, although I wish I had seed starter soil. This is just a moisture control potting soil. And, um, and I'm pushing it down, getting rid of the air bubbles. You can see all that. And then I'm gonna moisten the cups. Okay, let me get the hose. to saturate this really really well just let that soak in real good this soil is starting to get old this is at the bottom of the bag so it's a little bit extra dry but once it has gotten water in it remoistened it seems to hold it really well that's the whole point of buying the extra price the extra cost for the better soil and i think this spring i'm going to attempt to make my own soil because i may have a lot of babies i'm not 100 percent certain but I, I definitely have no squash out there so we'll see how much the tomatoes make it through the winter and the peppers too oh yeah i need soil for peppers oh my goodness we're gonna have a lot of pepper crops now, May Queen is a very, very fine little seed. It's very tiny, so I'm not going to be able to get probably one per tray or per cell in the tray. Um, but I'm going to do my best to try. And I, I hope to get at least, you know, two of these sections done. Um, also, while I'm putting this out, oh, that's not too hard. Roll my fingers a little bit. It's still getting two or three, but still. There's two. Um, May Queen lettuce makes a beautiful little head. It's more like a head lettuce instead of a leaf lettuce. There you go, I just filled two trays, pretty easy. This will be my fall to winter to almost probably be ready by early spring. Actually, I'm going to fill up all these trays, so I'll have to get some more trays out for the broccoli. Oh, that one got way too many. All right, well, it is what it is. And I have a little bit left over for maybe another sowing. So, okay, now hopefully you can see the lettuce seeds on top here. And like I said, I already pushed indentation down. It was really fluffy. I probably should have re-indented that, but yeah, see how that will go down more. Hopefully I don't pick up seeds when I do that. Let's see, ah, I should have re-indented after the watering. Oh, see that kind of went backwards for me. I indented then watered. It should be watered and then dented it down. Thank goodness there's extra seeds per tray. Okay, so 
most of it's staying though. I'm seeing at least a seed or two stay. You just want to get the air out because it's real important for seeds to have seed to soil contact. Okay. I'm going to come back here, grab some more soil, and just lightly go through and fill those little divots. Your buddy, buddy's got his running time in. Okay, now I'm just going to rewater real quickly. Just super light. I'm trying to get it super light. There we go. Resaturate. Not too much. <clears throat> Not too much. You do not want to displace your seed at all. And uh, Lord knows that happened to me this fall in the big garden. But anyhow, here's my May Queen. Be sure, as always, to label your plants. So this is my Godzilla broccoli that I germinated. I mean, I put into the cell trays. These are a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe four days ago, just right before... Yeah, it can't be but four days ago. This is right before the um, I went to church and the heat, we were in the start of the warm days and these popped up like crazy. I think I got multiples in here, uh, but they're still coming up and then I'll thin them on out. Also over here, I have the snowball cauliflower and I have Brunswick cabbage right here. Those have not germinated yet. But then again, I didn't expect the broccoli to go off that fast either. And over here is the Hilton cabbage. And the Hilton cabbages are starting to pop up too today. So that's really cool. This is the cabbage that looks, uh, it's sort of the tall type. And uh, like a Chinese cabbage. And there's my celery. It's finally, you know, enjoying the cool weather. That's a weed, that's weed. So... I'm getting quite a few little bits of celery. This, maybe I'll plant these in the spring, you know. They're just taking their sweet time because we are really close to the shortest day of the year. So, really the purpose of my video is not just to show you my work day, but I wanted to encourage you because in years past, I really just did not take advantage of these little warm spells between the few days of winter that we get here in the east central florida we have plenty of warmer days uh except for you know maybe the the one month of january but we have plenty of warm days to get a germination going on and a second sowing or a third sowing something like that uh, so i don't want you to think you know oh the fall fell because of bugs or heat or something like that and so then I'm just stuck with what I got I mean I have that problem with you know the cabbage garden I have plenty of holes in there but I want you to, guys to be I want you guys to be encouraged to keep trying Keep sowing, re-sow, sow some more. It's not over just because you had a failure one season, one crop, one year. Just, I know a lot of people go, oh, it's so hard. Florida's so hard. Yeah, it is if you're starting seed and expecting it to grow in spring and all the way through Florida August. <laughs> a lot of people from the north come down and transplant in Florida and they're like, Florida just doesn't work. It's too hot. Well, that's because you're growing in the wrong season, perhaps, you know, or growing the wrong seed. That happens a lot, too. So there's no reason why you can't. Oh, I almost did it again. Oh, no. There's absolutely no reason why you can't get something going. Uh, pretty much every month of the year in Florida, there's something that can grow year-round. Even in the 
terrible heat of uh, our summers. Uh-oh. I'm almost there. Come on. Come on. Roll off. <laughs> um, amaranth grows in the heat. You have beautiful butterfly peas if you want pollinator stuff. Uh, you can start plants inside, you know, like get them germinated outside, but take them inside uh, in the air conditioning, put them on a little windowsill, a kitchen windowsill or something, and um, set up a little card table in your living room, whatever, whatever it takes. You can get your fall stuff started in August, you know, in September and October. Uh, there's no reason why you can't garden year round in Florida. There's just no reason to accept the narrative that Florida's too hard. And, um, you know, and give up. You're going to sweat, but sweating is really good for your body anyhow. I, I totally believe in that. It's very good for your joints. If you don't use it, you don't get to keep it. Uh, your muscles need to move. Don't become inactive inside the house just because it's too hot outside. Um, find a pool, find, you know, somewhere, air conditioning after you're done gardening. <laughs> Take a cold shower. Sometimes I go in there just to cool off after planting. And I don't use the hot water. But I also have a pool too, <laughs> that's helpful. So thank you for following with me today and listening to my little rambles. I appreciate you guys and thank you and uh, stop by again. Take care. God bless. Bye.